Have you ever woken up, looked in the mirror and just gone, nah, I'm not fixing any of that. Anyway, welcome aboard, it's me, Sleepy Grumpy McGee, today we're going to be playing Terraria 1.14. They just updated it with approximately a Harry Potter book worth of text, but then I barely remember what was even in the base game, so if you're here to learn, then HA! You should probably just throw this video in the trash where it belongs, because, I mean, I'm just here to farm views so that I can buy my poor daughter a new pair of shoes. I just need to make a daughter first. TEN! So last time I played Terraria, back in 1952, I made a character that looked approximately like Gandalf, and in the spirit of creativity and variety, I think this time we'll do exactly the same thing. Uh, expect nothing and you'll never be disappointed. So to the best of my understanding, Master Mode is the new punch yourself in the balls difficulty that they've added with 1.14, and obviously we can all agree that me clicking on that button would be a tremendous mistake, which is why obviously I'm going to do that. Because comedy. Don't forget to do all of the normal sellout shit like like the video and subscribe. I'd recommend against it, this channel is a dumpster fire, but I did upload a nice Minecraft video the other day, and that was fun. Did some dancing, got the grooves in. It's quality content, if you have no taste. Oh gosh, when the world loaded up just then, I had this powerful flush of nostalgia. I'm actually quite excited, I've not played Terraria in so long. Do you ever look at slimes and think that they're just tremendously mediocre mobs? Wait, what is... Oh, Jimmy! That bastard slime! I was gonna make a joke about small beginnings, but now Jimmy's dead and I really don't think it's going to get an all lot better. Oh! Fuck, Jimmy! I'm sorry, I cannot avenge you! No, oh, I opened the door again. Oh, but... okay. It would appear that I have left my bravery at the dry cleaners and so I formally declare this a digging downward adventure. You see, this game gets me. I dig you down, and it gives me the good stuff. Okay. Okay. What is that noise? Oh! What is that?! Oh, wait, no, I remember those! It's for- Oh, they can move through th- How am I meant to hide in a hole if they can move through things?! Did it! I dodged him! Escape! Right, it's it's evac evacuate! Leave the premises! No! It's okay, we can get it we can We have many dirt blocks. He has only one snaky body. Just leave! I look like I'm writing Morse code. Well, on account of the undead hordes that appear quite keen on giving my nibbles quite a vigorous nibbling, I guess this hole is becoming part of the house. Do you ever have that moment of epiphany when it all becomes clear and you create this masterful strategy that will see you forward through any- Okay. Me neither. Is that a hot air balloon? Putting a campfire indoors doesn't seem like a remotely bad idea. I'm pretty sure campfires make me heal quicker, which I may need, occasionally. You know, when, when there's some bad luck, that's why I might need it. Because, you know, ev even the best, even even those at the peak of performance, sometimes we just get unlucky. Sometimes we need a little bit of aid. If you're a musician, maybe even a band-aid. Look at his cute little umbrella. Though I am slightly concerned about what appears to be a foot inside of him. Kill before baby slime interferes! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, die faster! Die faster! I think I've got like one jump left. Ay, 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 Oh! Oh, that was good timing. Wait, what? Is that a flying fish? It's okay. The pick strategy is perfect. Nothing can touch me. I am immune to all foes. Alright, what's in the chest? We have. Some tin bars. I do like some tin bars. With grenades. Oh ho 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 ho! Why yes, I think I will take those. Some arrows. Recall potions. Oh, recall potions! Now that's useful. That does dramatically improve my ability to get the fuck out of there. All right, let's test these bad boys out. Eat metal slime. No. Oh. Okay. 
Now that we have some tin and other goodness, I think the best next step is to craft myself some dapper armor and then laugh at my foes as they realize their attempts to slay me are utterly futile in the face of my impenetrable abs or a big old metal sheet of the way. So the good news is that now we have better armor and improved weaponry, it should be less likely that we die. But the bad news is that close examination of my psyche has led me to the conclusion that improvements in safety actually result in a disproportionate increase in unnecessary risks. So I'm fairly sure this was a mistake. Oh bollocks, it's another penal projectile. How do I use the damn, po oh, oh there, there we go, there we go, okay. Okay, thank the bear gods and their cousins to whoever decided to create recall potions. Without those, I would be super boned. Things are really beginning to look up. Okay, we, we all knew the moment that I clicked on that master difficulty button, this was going to be a shit show. That was obviously the point. Everything I make is trash. I'm terrible at video games and I've constantly put myself in situations where the probability that everything goes tits up drastically increases. But I actually feel a bit more optimistic now. I think I can do this. Also, what on earth is that? Hello, oh, what? Oh, you're not. Ah. That was very bad timing to give that speech. Nope, 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 almost dead, almost dead. There's another one, I I have a problem. I'm surrounded. Can I make a campfire? Well, I'm fairly sure the only positive right now is that my butt is toastier than cheese melt. And let me tell you, cheese melts are delicious. I think we can agree that the best path forwards is the kitchen sink strategy. If it's not bolted down, then throw it. Killed in my own home! There's no recovering from that one, boys! Okay, okay, I'm never I am never opening that door again. No, you go away. I don't I don't I do actually kind of want it. I think it would be fair to say that tonight could have gone better. Huh! Get him! Boom! Boom! Oh, okay. Well, you know what? At this stage, I can say to that a victory. The neighbors appear a little bit distressed right now. I'm not quite sure what they have against me. It could be my just devilishly handsome good looks or the just impeccably kept hair that is currently residing approximately on my head. Uh, but in the meantime, I, th I think we'll take a brief detour, do some mining, which is to say, just not be here. J j no. Let's find some more, maybe some iron. We could make some lovely armor, because we've already established that that's gonna help. Oh yeah, that's a chunky man. Oh, come here, come here. Hey, I found some purple stuff. I cannot mind the purple stuff, okie dokie then. According to Google, I need things that I don't have. So onwards we go. Ooh, 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 that's one of the health thingies. The, 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 uh, what, 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 you know, the thing gives more health. Less health, now you have more health. Less dying, theoretically. Oh, that's really useful. How do we get out of the w- Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yep. That, that's a sneaky fish. Okay. I'm not quite sure I would describe this situation as positive. The slimes appear to have made their move in response to my persecution of their blobby kind. Now, literally, they are raining from the sky. The bright news, though, my lovely hat will keep my hair dry. It swings in roundabouts. Just, you always gotta look on the bright side of life. Doo doo, doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. Okay, yeah, I'm out of arrows. You guys win. Go ahead and suffocate me, you giant testicles. I'll never apologize. He just keeps trying to get rid of the tombstones. And he just keeps making more. Okay, I concede that Master Mode may have been a minor mistake. However, I have never been one to let poor decision making get in the way of another poor decision, and so I'm not going to stop. We're going to stick with this world. 
We're going to fight through the pain until I fully understand every detail of Terraria. Every challenge has been overcome. I will not stop! Until I am at least 2% less of a noob. So I will look forward to meeting your grandchildren. Hot damn!